What's up guys, Militant Monkey here. Today I'm just doing a tutorial on how to live stream because it was requested quite a lot by people in my streams. So I thought I'd do a video on it so you guys can uh, do what I do and live stream. Um, the program I'm using for this is going to be XSplit. Uh, XSplit is currently free at the moment as it's in uh, public beta so you can hop onto their website which will be in the description and uh, download it from there. Um, I'm going to be starting from the point uh, where you're already logged into XSplit, so you've already got an XSplit account, and um, yeah, I'm going to be going through my settings, and I'm going to put my computer specs in the description, uh, so you can sort of relate to my computer to see what quality you'll be able to stream in. So we're going to start off with my general settings. All right, so we'll start off with the profile tab. You don't really need to put any information in here. Obviously, just I put my name, my screen name in. It's obviously not my date of birth. Um, so that's just pretty basic tab you guys know what to do with that one okay now general you want to make sure you've got let XSplit disable aero theme which if you're um, using Windows 7 it will sort of tone it down to Windows 7 basic um, which I'm not sure if that's the 32 bit sort of uh, screen mode but um, it'll automatically do that so you won't get any uh, problems where, where it clashes with XSplit enable virtual camera output you need to have that ticked otherwise the live stream will not come up at all uh, the next one's enable Skype interaction you wanna have that ticked if you're using Skype obviously I know it sounds stupid but a lot of people miss it because some people use uh, sort of Turtle Beach headphones or something when they're live streaming and you make sure you gotta make sure you've got that ticked before it works you wanna make sure you've got your um, microphone selected that you're using I've got the microphone I'm using now selected um, pretty self-explanatory. My recordings just select them where you want to go. Next one, channels. You want to make sure uh, you've got all the channels you want to stream to added on here. So I've just got the one which is Justin slash Twitch TV, um, my channel. All you have to do is put in your login details. It's completely safe. XSplit is sort of completely legit so you've got no problems um, with putting your details in. You're not going to get your account hacked or anything. Uh, next tab resolutions now this one is the peop uh, the one people often struggle with because I have a pretty decent computer <laughs> I don't want to sound big editor or anything but my computer is pretty good um, I can stream in up to uh, 1920 uh, by 180 sorry 1080 um, HD TV you want to make sure you've got all of them clicked so a lot well, all different uh, internet connections from, can view your live stream. By default, it'll be one of the highest uh, settings. I know a lot of people watch my streams in that setting. Uh, so you want to make sure you've got. If you've got a really good computer, you want to make sure you've got this one ticked right here. 1920 by 1080. Uh, you also want to make sure from there. If you've got a decent computer, but it's not amazing, uh, you want to make sure you have that one ticked just so you can stream in HD. Uh, and then from here, there's should be these should be selected by default, um, and these are the uh, ones I stream in basically. So I don't know if you have those ticked and you have a really good computer. I don't know why it's not going wrong. These are just my settings; they work for me. So I suggest you just try it out first. Um, I think there's a bandwidth test you can get do in uh, XSplit which tests if your internet connection and your computer is good enough to run it so just tick what I've got so far and then sort of work around it from there always start with the best hotkeys this is just uh, selecting keys you want to go to sort of different um, like different controls so pretty much nothing in there you really need to know from here I'm basically just going to take you around the menus alright so file um, the presentations you don't really need to know about um, th is this bit you need to worry about if you're using a webcam you want to make sure you've got the camera added I don't have um, a camera added so it obviously won't work but if you are sort of live streaming with a webcam as well you want to make sure that one's ticked uh, the next one add media file that's if you're streaming something um, that you've already got saved. So if you want to stream one of your uh, like previous live streams that you've got saved onto your hard drive, that's what you need to do. Add media file and then add um, that live stream or that video. Add screen region. Now this is one I use. You can either drag a screen region like this, for example, um, or you can just click on an application 
uh, which will automatically lock it to the application but it or it already shows um the window sort of bar at the top so you want to probably want to select uh, the screen area rather than that uh, the rest you don't want to really need to be worrying about uh, they they probably won't mean anything to you at the moment view resolution you want to be ticking one of these two definitely you want to be streaming in HD anything else ah, you're gonna yeah you, it's gonna be a little bit I don't know, you're going to get quite a lot of hate, I suppose. Um, I currently stream in that. I could stream in that, I probably, but there's no need for me to do uh, that. Um, so I'm just going to stick to that for now. I don't think Twitch actually supports 1920 by 1080 so... And a lot of people don't have the monitors to do that anyway, so... I'm, I'm just leaving it as that, so I can play online games and various other things. Frame rate, frame rate excuse me, you want to uh, have that set to anything above 25 I have mine set to 25 I could probably push it up to 60 uh, with my computer but I actually I'm going to change that to 30 now uh, YouTube and Twitch don't go over 30 frames per second so you've got nothing to worry about uh, putting it at 60 or 59.94 so put it put, put it on 30 uh, you shouldn't go any lower unless you're streaming something that's sort of just word processing or something like that but um, if you're playing games, 30 frames per second is what you should go with. Transition, don't need to worry about this, guys. Uh, this won't apply to you at all. Broadcast, pretty self-explanatory. Um, that basically, the Twitch account you linked uh, up in the general settings, you just want to hit that when you want to start live streaming. It'll automatically go onto your Justin TV channel. You don't need to do anything. It'll automatically do it for you. Announce again that's something just announces it on I think if you link it with your Twitter account and your Facebook account uh, it'll come up with like the links and whatever so people can go onto it uh, help section it's just news updates you should always keep your uh, your Twitch TV sorry your X split up to date because uh, there may be some important patches in there obviously because it's in beta there's quite a lot of bugs and various other things so keep it updated and you should be fine the rest I think that's probably it for this, so um, I'd appreciate it if you could give this video a like, guys. And if you have any other problems, comment down below and I'll try and help you out uh, with um, the problem you've got. So, thanks very much for watching. See you later.